All right, more Tower of God, and we are on that pre-recording grind. And if you look at that, we're actually on episode 500 overall. Isn't that a nice little, um, uh, like, achievement, huh? Crazy to think how long I've actually been reading this for. Um, at least on the channel, anyway. Fucking hell. Anyway, let's just get into it, shall we? A warning. This episode contains depictions of violence that may be upsetting for some reasons. Uh, who is screaming that? It is Shibisu. Hats! Are you okay, Hats? That's not how I voice Shibisu before, but fuck it, whatever. You okay? Don't die on me. I'm alive. Although, <coughs> I don't think I can go on fighting. <coughs> Hats, just stay there and rest. Ambulance, we need ambulance over here. Relax. Isu. Yeah? I want to get stronger. You're strong enough. Then I want to get even stronger. And don't tell Kun about this. That's... Good job, buddy. This way, everyone. The enemy could be hiding somewhere, so stick together. Are you alright? I'm on the Slayer Candidates team. The Slayer Candidate, huh? Are you here to save me? This is so... embarrassing. <coughs> are you okay? Are you hurt? Lord Yama. This is Lord Yama here too. I want to see him. His eyes. Is that to stop him using from using his sniper ability? Shas Racha, you cruel bastard! Lord Yama, please, don't let that monster beat you. You have to win! That's a lot of blood. You sure are stubborn. I practically beat you to a pulp. And yet, you still won't beg me. He's untransformed. Interesting. It's already been a few turns since the battle begun. This won't end until you give up. I guess I'll just have to sit here and wait it out. And wait you out. Even so. Even as the battle comes- fuck me. Even as the battle comes to an end, and your teammates fe and fellow Kinans are all approaching their death, you just stay right there and relax. I want you to really feel just how powerless you are. Then crawl back to where you came from, Yama. 52nd floor. A dark change to... Inside the cat tower. Doom. Fuck, how have I voiced Doom in the past? Ugh. Paul collapsed. Perhaps because he pushed himself too hard to transform. I'm the only one of us brothers who can help Yama now. Yama can't beat Yasracha by himself. I just hope nothing happens to Yama until I get there. Huh? Is that a whirlpool of acid? Looks dangerous. Oh, look. A mouse. Was that... Oh no, that probably was Yama. A doom that said that. Fuck. It's just hold, just the structuring of that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So look, it's like that's clearly a text bubble coming from D Yama, a doom. But then this, like, that could be coming from anywhere. Like for fuck's sake, man. They hit a mouse in the acid. An awful trap. Given the balance of the game, I bet the acid could probably harm even a high ranker. I may be in a rush, but I can't just jump right in to such an obvious, dangerous trap. Should I try approaching it with external transformation? <laughs> That's what I thought. The acid is so strong, not even a high rank you could make it out if they're alive. When I get near it, it spreads itself out as if telling me to get back, telling me to back away. Then, when I get further away, it gathers together again and, clo and covers the mouse. It's almost like a living organism. What should I do? Uh, 
What if I went at it faster than it can gather together? Would I be able to get at the mouse? It's a dangerous risk, but if I could approach it as quickly as possible... Yama. I'm going for it! This is absolutely not how I voiced Doom, especially not how I voiced him during the cage. If you go back and watch those videos from however long ago that is now. It's probably been a year, huh? Something like that. Uh, but this is definitely not how I voiced Doom, but whatever. Fuck it. Even if it puts my own life in danger, I'd much prefer that over Yasuracha killing Yama. Yama is a bratty brother. But I refuse to let Yasuracha do anything to him. Oh shit, he got it, but it doesn't look like he came out unscathed. <laughs> Doom? Yama! Somewhere in the cat tower. Hockney's team. We made it. There's too many characters, man. Voicing them all the time is getting difficult. I keep forgetting how my voice looks. They don't show up for so long. According to the lighthouse, the control room should be just up ahead. Let's head inside. Ah! What are those? Inside the cat tower. We know you told us a few moments ago. Look at all those fish! Control room. Fish tank. Wow. Are we supposed to use the fish to play a game? I wonder what kind of game. Fishing, maybe? Without any enemies around. That seems too easy. I, it, I, vo I started voicing Harkney, and then immediately lost how I voiced him when I fucking voiced Rock. Well, I'm pretty sure that he said it's a simple game. If you look closely, there's something on their back. Circles. Triangles, the shapes. What are we supposed to do now? Uh, hey, s something's coming. Tyrant of the fish tank. Truge. Trug? True? Truge? Whatever. A crab? Is that a crab? A crab? Is, is that a crab? That's probably more how that would be voiced. It, it, it's shock. Uh, that's right. I'm a crab. Until your ass rusher caught me and put me in here. I was the lord of the seas. Now I have to play a game with people like you to leave this place. Holy crap. A, a talking crab. Can you believe it? You're a talking alligator, Rock. Ah. Uh, uh, that's enough now. I'll tell you about the game we're gonna play. So we're supposed to play the game? Play the control room game with you. Ah, uh, that's right. If I win, Yasuracha promised to release me back into the sea. So I have to beat you to get out of here. What's that? Wait, that's... The field. Look! Yasuracha Pijama! I think White is in Barmsfield too. I have a bad feeling about this. God, Elaine's so fucking gorgeous. Look at her. Just, just, just take that in. Just take that in. This isn't good. They need some help. Uh, that's right. From where I've heard, your teammates are out there fighting on the field. You can use this fish tank, the fish in this tank to help your teammates. What? How? Uh, look closely at the fish. The body features a random combination of three colors and symbols. The colors are blue, red, and orange. The symbols are triangles, squares, and circles. The three symbols represent the three types of symbol coins that can be used to buy items. Symbol? Coins? Yeah, they're coins shaped like circles, squares, and triangles. You fucking idiot. <laughs> so I, <add> <laughs> so I, I like the crab. 
I like the crab. You can use these symbol coins to purchase items that can be used in the game. But keep in mind that the value of these three types of symbol coins change throughout the game. Take a look at your lighthouse. It shows you your starting points. You're given a hundred points to begin with. You can exchange those points for symbol coins. At the moment, each symbol coin is worth a hundred points. It's the fucking stock market. Well, crypto is probably more accurate, isn't it? But the value of each symbol coin may rise or fall as the game continues. I'll tell you about that in a moment. Now, look at the, li the item list on the screen in the lighthouse. This is a list of items that can be purchased with each symbol. You can buy those items as symbols and use them to help your teammates. Oh yeah, look at that, there are items. Now I'll tell you about the most important, how to change the value of the symbols. Redfish increase the value, bluefish reduce the value, and orange fish let you exchange values. If you catch a red fish with a square on its back, the value of the square doubles. If you catch a blue fish with a square on its back, the value of the square is halved. So basically, catch a blue fish, buy squares, catch a red fish, sell squares. You know, investment. <laughs> buy low, sell high. Right now, you can only buy one square symbol with 100 points. But depending on how you use your fish, you can buy squares for half price or double the price. Finally, if you catch an orange fish, you can exchange symbol coins with each other. In fact, actually the best would probably be to catch a blue, catch an orange, catch a red, because then you have a 200 value coin, and that way you've optimized um, that. So instead of lowering what you have as 200, you can constantly just increase that. Have one at 50, or keep lowering that one as much as you can. Have one super low, exchange it, and then have one that's super high that you want to sell. This is really, this is pretty well thought out. I actually really like this game. That's clever. The value of each symbol coin is adjusted based on how many points you have. If you use this to your advantage, you can drive the value of the symbol coins, and then use it to purchase lots of other relatively less valuable symbol coins. These rules apply equally to all symbol coins, and you can only catch fish with a spear. But, before he managed to catch a fish... HE JUST TOOK THE FISH! I intercept it, you lose the fish. Of course, I'm trying to... I'm gonna be trying to devour as many fish as possible. So the longer you wait, the lower your chances of winning. If I eat all the fish in this tank before the game outside ends, I win and get to return to the sea. And you and your teammates... We'll be trapped in the cat tower forever. Look, the value of the circle went up. Oh shit, that's not who's saying that. Look, the value of the circle went up. That must be because the crab just ate a red fish with a circle on its back. Ah. That complicates things. Given he said the fish could only be caught with a spear, I assume that means that the crab's claws count as a spear. Because otherwise, that wouldn't have gone up. How long have we been recording for? Oh my god, this has been a long chapter. Ah, wrong tab. <laughs> Not that you'll have seen which tab I went to, but wrong tab. That was the YouTube Studio tab that I used to you know, look at the analytics and such. We have to buy some items if the crab ruins everything. Yama seems to be in the most trouble, so let's try and find an item to help him. Good idea. Why bother- Why bother with a fish? Let's just go after the crab! Which item should we get first? R rock w what are you doing, Rock? Hmm, <clears throat> can't you tell? If we meet the crab first, we can- Have our pick of the fish! Beat the crab? This place is crawling with rank, is it? Do you seriously think- they would have left a monster that weak in charge of the game? Calm down, Rock. We may have an advantage in this game. What? Ah, I've got hiccups. 
If you're going to voice act, ah, there's so much reading. Ah. Good God. There's been so much dialogue. This is unreal. I can use my eyes to see a few seconds into the future and find out which way the fish are going to move. A crab doesn't know I can do that yet. If we do this right, we'd have the upper hand here. You mean your eyes are actually good for something? Of course. First, I'll try to keep my ability a secret while we catch the fish first. We're going to save Yama. How was I voicing Doom? There's been too many different characters this episode. I, 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 I can't keep track. Yama, wake up! Damn it! Yasuracha, you sneaky cat! Doom, you seem to be preparing something. Too bad I beat Yama before you could reach him. I spared your life and told you to never show your face around me again. You should have told that to your brothers too. Why did you have to go and join a place like Fug and dream up some silly revenge scheme? Shut up! <laughs> I'm going to make sure you never do anything so foolish again. Stop it! When are you, when are you going to stop taking away everything that me and my brothers have? I've had enough of this! You've come so far, and now you want me to just stop? You should have stayed out of my face if you didn't want me to take anything from you. Bullshit! How could we just leave you alone after you killed our parents? I'm gonna avenge my mother and father. Your mother? Or Yama's mother? Or have you still not told Yama? About why your father had to die. And what a coward he was. And the fact that you and him have different mothers. What are you talking about? Ah, you didn't know. You and your brothers were bred according to the will of the Lopo Beer family, not your father's. Yasracha! That's why all three of you have different mothers. Shut up! We all have the same parents! You and Paul inherited your mother's blood, and she wasn't a canine. Yasracha! Which means you aren't a pure blood canine. You're a mutt. That's why you can't share the canine power with anyone. Who the fuck speaking to Kuhn right now? Do you see that, Kuhn? Yeah, I think I understand the game. You sure are quick. I sent you a list of items we can- Oh, it's Harkney. I sent you a list of items we can buy. As for the situation on the field, White is on Balm's field. And I think Yasuracha attacked Yama. Yama isn't doing well. I didn't think White would go after Balm so soon. Why is he so obsessed with Balm? So we looked through the items quickly, and I think that Yama could use the enemy force return one. One triangle, huh? It's too expensive to buy right now, but if we buy that one, we'll have zero points. Oh, it's not but, whatever. But it's urgent! Still, it'd be better to try to reduce the value first. Then what about this? first one is possible, but the second one is risky. So what? You can't take- can't, you can't gamble without taking risks. Besides, if we pull it off, it would be amazing. Doesn't that sound fun? You sure love your fun, even at a time like this. Oh fuck, I just unplugged my headphones. Uh, give me a second. Not that my headphones being unplugged matters, but... Well, I guess not headphones or earphones, but whatever. Not that them being unplugged matters, but still. The best way to win the game is to upset your opponent. The more fun you have, the more likely you are to win. Let's have some fun. Jesus, that was a long fucking chapter. 20 minutes for one. It's been a while since, uh... Since that's been the case. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed, uh, this... 
you know, this episode. With that said, I've been Animosi, you've been you, and we'll see you next time for the video. A ta-ta. Bye now.